a concentrator cooker concentrates the heat into one small point right under here and raises the temperature high enough that you can boil and fry foods. This one works a little bit differently than a panel cooker or a box cooker because it does not trap the heat inside of an enclosed area. The heat is concentrated right onto a small spot. Of course, inside the pan, with the water or the oil or whatever it is you're cooking, the heat will be trapped inside if you use a lid on it. But you can cook without a lid on these. It's not necessary to have it on. In fact, this uh, cup of water that I put on here is already boiling. It's been about uh, three minutes, is it? <laughs> and it's already boiling inside of here. Um, concentrator cookers are a little more hands-on. You can't leave them. Um, I'll give you a little idea here about how hot a concentrator cooker can get or a parabolic as they're called. Took about uh, three seconds to get that paper started on fire. It's probably about 800 degrees under here. Um, you have to be a little more careful with these. You can't just leave it and go off and leave it unattended like you would with a solar oven or a solar panel cooker. That's what most people like about the solar panel cooker and the solar box cooker is that you can leave it more unattended and just let it cook all day long. Uh, parabolic, you have to be here on top. Treat it like a stove top. Gets just as hot. Unless you have a smaller parabolic, then it wouldn't be quite as hot. The larger the parabolic, the hotter it'll get. Um, it's not something that you can let kids just uh, play around with because you can get burnt with these. And you can also uh, get blinded if you uh, let the reflection hit your eye at the right angle. Um, this is boiling very heavily in here already. Um, to turn it off, just turn it away so the heat spot isn't on the, uh, on the uh, pot anymore. One thing you'll notice about a parabolic cooker too, I'm not using a dark colored pot like you would in a, in a box cooker or a panel cooker. And the reason is because the heat's so intense in here that you don't need that black or dark colored uh, pot to attract the heat and raise the temperature. If you have a heavy duty pot that's black, that's fine, you can use that, there's no problem. Do not use aluminum on these because it gets so hot they can start to scorch and burn right through them. But that's how a parabolic uh, cooker works also. This is the uh, Cantina West solar burner. The one over there that we talked about before is the hot pot and then the sun oven, which you're familiar with also. This is the solar burner here. This is the other cooker that we also are a dealer for here 